half kneeling, lift and chop. So you're gonna grab yourself a lighter weight. I have a 10 pound plate. If you have five pound dumbbell, 10 pound dumbbell, whatever you wanna utilize, go for it. You're gonna find yourself in a half kneeling position. So like you are proposing to me, okay? You wanna bring hip, knee, ankle, and middle toe all in one line. So watch that you're not popping out or you're not in weird positions, that you wanna to try to keep one straight line through that hip for stability on the front side, okay? From there, you're gonna bring your weight down to the open hip flexor. So only the open side, straight down, guys, open chest. This is your resting position. When you're ready, we're going to chop or we're gonna go 45 degree angle twist to the opposite side. So you're gonna bring your weight, nice long arms here. You're gonna twist over and then back down, okay? In and back out, playing with the height of your weight based off of your own shoulder mobility and your own trap mobility. If you're really tight in the upper traps, it might feel really uncomfortable. So listen to your body there, okay? If you are struggling with this, it's a little bit too heavy, lighten up, go with water bottle, a shoe, something along those lines. And then of course, as you advance, increase your weights. But be intentional. Are you popping your bum back while you're doing this? Or can you tuck your tailbone in and really keep your abdomen closed while you do this? Because not only are we going to be working the hip flexor, the transverse abdominis, which is the underlying muscles, but we're also going to be getting a little bit of a twist through the entire abdominal wall and through those obliques. So we are getting a lot of functional movement here and a lot of different types of abdominal strength all in one move. So really focus in, pay attention, and if you start to feel this in your low back, you know you're probably booty popping, tuck it in, really focus on bringing that tailbone in, and you should feel that back hip flexor really stretch out if you are in the right position. All right, that is your half kneeling lift and chop.